Good day to you, my trading friends. It's Thursday, March 4th, 2021, and we have a cherry bomb trade for you today. We're looking at a, an opposing trade to my uh, Monday trade that I came up with on my own. So we're going to neutralize some of our uh, bearish oil deltas with a, a little extra bullish deltas. Well, at least we're going to look at it, and I hope you will join me today as we look at XOP. XOP uh, is the oil and gas sector index, right? And so uh, we here have an IV rank up above, you see, of four. So we're going to be doing debit spreads. We're also pretty darn liquid. We got a three out of four. It's a respectable liquidity, but it certainly isn't super duper liquid, liquid like our four drops out of four, right? but we will be in monthlies. So that's going to help as well. So if you are interested in taking a look at being bullish on oil and gas, <laughs> then uh, you'll like today's trade. So let's hop on in to think or swim, shall we? Hi, my name is Neil. This is Option Theory. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Stick around to the end where if you're new here, we'll tell you how you can join us and uh, get your butt in the flight simulator and learn with us and take your trading to the next level. All right. So on screen here, you can see we have our portfolio. And uh, it, what I think what might be catching your attention is all the red over here. Team red is winning today. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to last because sometimes overnight futures will do the whole reverse and team green begins to uh, make a comeback, right? So what I think is weird is you're going to see the only green you're really seeing right here is volatility and, you know, your bonds, right? Everything else is going down, which to me, I feel like gold over here and sometimes even oil will be sort of that place where people run to for safety, uh, but it doesn't seem to be going on right now. So, hmm. Anyway, before we get this trade on, I want you to notice that on Monday we put this XO, Exxon Mobil trade on and it has a beta weighted delta of negative 2.2. 3, 2.4, let's call it two and a half, shall we? Um, and surprisingly, it's working out for us. It should be working out uh, more today as if, if it follows with crude, and, you know, it's not necessarily crude oil, but it's definitely oil related. So they often are uh, correlated, right? So let's take a quick look at the chart for XOP. We see that we have uh, reached our high, our peak here uh, yesterday, 86.07. Uh, and you would think that we'd be a little uh, bullish, I'm sorry, bearish on this one, but we're going to take a position of 50-50 on this one, pretty much, so, because that's what we do. We do uh, long call spreads. So let's head over to this Analyze tab. I've already, like a cooking show, got this trade built out for you. Make sure you type XOP up here in your ticker. Make sure you open up the April 16th weeklies, which as of today, March 4th, is 43 days to expiration. You're going to scroll down here to the At The Money section here, and you're going to buy, well, when I say you're going to, that's if you're going to follow along with the cherry bomb trade, right? More on that at the end if you stick around because my subscribers that have been here, well, they already know what we do, but maybe you're not sure what we do here. So click on this 82 ask to buy it. Yeah, that would cost $680, right? If you wanted to buy that in the money call, but we don't want to buy the in the money call and then spend $680 to have crummy probabilities. Let's up our probabilities and define our risk. Uh, not that this wasn't, this is defined risk as well too, but we're going to then sell the 84 call that's out of the money. So we're going to be able to sell that for somewhere between 545 and 590, but you get the idea. If we could buy this for 680 and sell this for 590, somewhere in there, right? We're going to be able to make the difference. So over here, we've got this built out. Notice it's down here. One contract, pay attention, yours may be 10, right? Uh, yield sign, slow down a minute. It's up to you whether or not you want that to be 10. You can uh, use the plus and minus arrows to adjust your numbers of contracts. And here we're looking at paying 95 cents or $95, way better than the $680 or $660, right, that we'd be paying here. So, all right, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and take a look at the risk profile to see what our probabilities are for this trade. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got here the date in the upper right corner here for this risk profile is 417, and that's got to match what you got over here in turquoise so that we know what our probability is at expiration. <clears throat> we're looking at a 48.24% probability of profit. However, while the probability of us profiting at the at expiration is, I guess, against us, right? The probability of us making half of our max profit 
is for us. Well, what's our max profit? 105. So 5250, it'd be half of that. And the probability that we can make that 5250 in the next 43 days, 43 days is, according to Tastyworks, 64%. And that's fine by me because here we play the law of large numbers game. Okay. It doesn't always work out, right? It should work out if you do enough of these to meet the expected statistics, expected probabilities, right? I think we all get that, flipping a coin. Okay, anyway, now that we've got that, let's take a look. We're gonna right-click this trade, choose Confirm and Send. And we see here that we can lose the 95, we can make the 105. We know we have a roughly 64% probability of making half of that and being able to take our money say thank you, wash our hands, and go repeat with another underline. I want to hit send and put that into my working orders. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Notice over here that the delta on this one is 545. So, you know, we'll have roughly a positive delta. We'll be overall bullish, even though we'll have two opposing trades in crude oil, right? So, we'll see what happens there. I want to right-click that trade, choose confirm and send, hit send, and that pops that over into my working orders over here. So, there you have it, my friends. That is your trade for today. Uh, I'm going to go back. No, no, stay. Leave it there. I mean, you know what? Maybe. What if I do this? That's not going to work. How about this one? Hey, it's me. <laughs> I never do this. All right. So if you made it this far into my video, thumbs up to you. I appreciate you. Uh, and if you're my subscribers, I know this is the point where you're going to dip out. But it does really help me that you guys watch to the end of the videos. If you're new here head on down to the description, because what we do here is we use Cherry Bomb Trades. In the description, you'll find a link to go sign up for Tasty Trades Cherry Bomb email list. Plus, they have all the other lists that they have there. I recommend all of them. Get the ones that you want. They're not spamming you. They, do, they don't sell you anything. Of course, they'd love for you to watch their content and learn from them. They offer that for free. You can use their brokerage, too. That's something that, obviously, I also use. And it's totally up to you. But what I think you really need to um, consider is that trading, you're going to get a lot of people that are going to, you know, tell you you can't do it, right? You might want to do it, but then it's like, do you really want to risk your real money yet? This is a flight simulator. Join us. Get trade ideas. Test out your trade ideas. Test, test out your mechanics. This is your flight simulator. And uh, we uh, invite you to join us by clicking that subscribe button. You definitely want to ring the bell. I know everybody says that, but there's a particular reason for this one. These trades are time sensitive, right? You want to get in them at the right time. There's, there's theory, right, behind when you want to get in and when you want to manage and all that stuff. And we also put trade alternatives to the cherry bombs that you get from Tasty Trade. So I hope you like what you got here. If you think I've earned that thumbs up, would you hit that one as well? And uh, Maybe when you're ready, you'll hit that subscribe button. Until I see you in tomorrow's final cherry bomb of the week, everybody. Happy trading.